Well, if you don't exist in Doctor Who circles where everybody's actually been watching these episodes or rather not watching these episodes and saying just how terrible they've been, uh, you might believe the mainstream media reviewers that are like, it's amazing. It's just as good as David Tennant. Uh, (laughs) But fans know better. And if you look at the disparity between the critic reviews, which are sitting at like 95% for the new Doctor Who, the new black gay Doctor Who, and if you look at the... (laughs) audience reviews, even on uh, uh, Rotten Tomatoes, where they they purge, quote, fake reviews and the like, which is sitting at 31% as of the recording of this video, you know that only some shills are posting in defense of Doctor Who. Now they're out doing a media press tour, uh, uh, of course, uh, signaling that they hate the fans. Russell T. Davies has said as much. Nakuti Gatwa is uh, similar out there and being like, uh, don't watch it, and then... Uh, calls you bigots for not watching it at the same time. It's it's just uh it's just a horrible horrible spiral and they're not going to learn. Uh Russell T Davies is all in on activism. So is this guy. So is Amelia Gibson. They all are. It's only going to get worse. Uh you got they they're announcing that the uh weird kind of lesbianish uh <laughs> uh space marine gal from the last episode is going to be the new companion once Millie Gibson's gone. So they're going to replace Millie Gibson, the blonde girl, with a with a lesbianish Indian lady who's going to be better than the doctor and uh, and <laughs> lecture him all the way around. Uh, and so uh, you've just gotten your entire. Uh, it's, it's just like Britain, I guess. It's a, it's a it's an allegory that uh, you got flooded with migrants. <laughs> now there's no actual there's no actual British people in in the UK anymore. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that, UK fans. <laughs> it sucks. Uh, but that's exactly what they're doing here, and they love it. Uh, you can see just by the, uh, the 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 quote by Russell T. Davies here, if things are polarizing, I think we're in a healthy position. But it's really not polarizing in that there's not two equal poles uh, going on here. It's the audience is all on one end saying, we hate this. And uh, Russell T. Davies and his bot factory, yes, bot factory, are the only people uh, out there saying it's actually a good thing, and then the shills in the media. So there's no fans, really, of Doctor Who left. I mean, we've seen this just in the ratings uh, alone. It's crazy. And we're going to get into what's happening with this absolutely shocking story in just a moment. My name's John Delarose. I'm a number one best-selling science fiction author, and uh, I would love for you to come check out my books. I've got none of the woke stuff in it and a lot of fun. This is my Aurition War trilogy. I'm currently actually writing a spinoff series from this about space exploration, uh, which I love. Uh, And of course, Star Trek's been ruined as much as Doctor Who, maybe more. Uh, (laughs) And so uh, I am taking this on myself, uh, which I'm having a lot of fun with. So please check this out. If you love science fiction, uh, I I think you'll really enjoy this trilogy. It really ramps up over the three books, so make sure to get all of them. I'll put the link in the description below, along with uh, all my other links, ways to support the channel and join our community. You guys are amazing. I love Doctor Who fans, and uh, I want you with us uh, because, you know, that's that's how you treat your customers, you'd think, (laughs) unless you're you're Russell T. Davies. So uh, absolutely wild. Uh, So he is out there uh, standing by all of his cringe decisions for this show. And uh, and he's got a new interview uh, saying, what about stepping into this new era of Doctor Who? Are you taking really big feel- swings that you feel risky? He says it doesn't feel risky. That's because he has no accountability to the audience. Doctor Who is funded by the BBC and Disney, BlackRock by, by proxy. But the BBC is uh, British tax dollars. They're not going to cancel somebody over, over gayness. Uh, whether people watch it or not, they're going to be pushing that until the cows come home. Disney's uh, funding it to actually push the agenda and destroy this stuff as a, uh, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a concerted effort to destroy Western culture. We know that. And uh, here he says, I'm the man who created Queer's Folk in 99. I live off risk. Oh, very nice. Uh, there's no risk to any of this. This is really odd how they still pretend like it's risky and edgy to be LGBTQ. When, like, you know, the United States is pushing the, the flags, they're, they're flying those flags and not even the United States flags half the time at the White House. That's not risky. That's, that's with the, you're not anti-establishment. You are the establishment, Russell T. Davies. You're the globalist evil person who wants us to eat the bugs. We know what you are. You can't lie to us. He says, I love it. 
I think we can be unfair some fans sometimes when we say that viewers are polarized because there's nothing fans love more than a good debate. Yeah, right. Go talk to a bunch of football fans. There are no football fans saying our team is perfect. We're really happy. We've got nothing to say. Oh, well, I mean, unless you've got Messi on your team, I guess. <laughs> They're all arguing all the time, and that's what fandom is. No, it's not. Again, like I just, I just, I just blew that argument out of the water, and I don't even watch soccer. <laughs> Uh, if things are polarizing, we're in a healthy position, and I think that we sometimes overstate the importance of discourse on Twitter. Well, you just dead named X, sir. That is a bigot move. I'm gonna cancel you. But uh, it looks like uh, that discourse that's going on on Twitter, you know, alleged discourse, is not actual discourse. <laughs> it looks like it's all fake and gay, uh, much like uh, Doctor Who itself. And so. We have a, a, a expose from Master of the TDS who does great work. If you don't follow this guy, uh, you should 100% follow him. He's been exposing bots out there on Twitter. And so while they're saying there's debate, there's people you know uh, on both sides, it's polarizing, there's really only one side. There's you, there's Russell T. Davies and his media goons, and then there's bots that these people are hiring to make it look like there's debate. Make it look like there's things. Now, this is something Disney's been doing and caught doing over Star Wars, over Indiana Jones, over Marvel movies. Disney is caught with all these bots across different platforms going out there and posting uh, very similar content like this to prop up their shows and pretend like there's a ton of discussion around their shows. And this, uh, the reason they do it is because it works. If you see a ton of likes and retweets and engagement uh, just psychologically, this has nothing to do with it, you being dumb or anything like that. It's just how it works for humans. Uh, psychologically, it's called social proof. And the social proof is that there's a lot of discussion around the show. And it makes you f just inherently be like, I'm missing out on this show. I better I better get in on what everybody else is in on. It's the same thing, actually, for YouTube channels. And uh, I, I was watching a video on YouTube uh, and uh, just, you know, building audiences on YouTube the other day, as, as one does. Uh, and uh, it somebody made a comment to this this channel, like my my small channel, you know, is being suppressed. And they're like, well, no, it's not actually being suppressed. It's just the social proof. Like if if a channel has thousands and thousands of views on a topic, and yours has ten, and people see both scrolling by, they're they're way more likely to uh, click on the one with thousands and thousands of views because they want to see what the people are paying attention to. So Disney knows this, so they have bots that go around, uh, you know giving those views, giving that engagement on Twitter, uh, Facebook, Instagram, all of them. They've got bots everywhere. And uh, there's actually a theory that nobody exists at all, but uh, everybody's a bot. Are you a bot? <laughs> Let me know if you're a bot in the comment down below. <laughs> um, but these are clearly bots uh, that are promoting the Doctor Who uh, agenda here. Uh, Juan Blair, uh, with, a, with a weird Asian woman here breaking boundaries jinx monsoon the iconic ja drag superstar making history first drag artist to join the cast of doctor who from winning rupaul's drag uh, oh joseph susan am am amazingly posted the exact same thing with a weird thing here joseph susan i'm sure that's a real name uh you can see that these are employed bots <laughs> anthony, anthony christopher with another huh pretty girl is the breaking boundaries oh gee edward elizabeth oh huh. Wow, weird. Uh, very odd that these are exactly the same post. And you can see that this talk of Jinx Monsoon, to, and, and Jinx Monsoon was trending over the weekend, is entirely made up by bots. It's not, there's nobody actually promoting this in real life, and it just keeps going. Here's another one. There's more of it. There, there's even more of it. Um, it's, it's everywhere. And they are employing bots to do this intentionally and pretending like they have a bunch of fans out there in order to try to further gaslight you. And that's what that's what this is all about. They're trying to force you into think you're missing out on something and that everybody's excited about this. If you looked at Russell T. Davies, he, he was saying that everybody is all in on this. Yeah, well, he might believe it, but the, the marketing people behind him certainly know what's going on. Maybe they're lying to him. Maybe he knows about this. I don't know. But uh, if uh, there was a real interviewer out there for the media, if, if Russell T. Davies wouldn't be an abject coward, maybe he'd come on this channel where we get a lot of views for Doctor Who's, a lot of Doctor Who's fans, and we can ask him real questions like this, like, why are you guys employing bots 
to pretend like this queer agenda is something popular in Doctor Who. Wouldn't that be nice to know the answer of? But nobody will ever confront Russell T. Davies in the mainstream media about what he's doing because they're all a bunch of shills and they're all paid. That's what it comes down to. All right. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for being here, everybody. And thank you so much for uh, for coming in hard on the Orishan War over the last month. You guys are the best fans in the business. And uh, I appreciate that you're all readers and intelligent people. And you're too intelligent to buy into this Doctor Who nonsense. Check out my books on Amazon. I'll see you soon.